welcome to alchemistry and uh, here i am with the part 2 solution of the isc semester 2 specimen copy so i hope you have seen that part 1 uh, video of uh, isc specimen copies so, semester 2 that solved one so i am here with the part 2 video where i will solve the rest of the question yeah, which i have not solved before and if you have not seen uh, that part 1 video yet See that the link is given in the description box and if, uh, if you want the chapter wise explanation, chapter wise discussion, then the chapter wise discussion already I have completed coordination chemistry 1 part and carboxylic acid aldehyde ketone that can also you follow and if you like my video uh, give a like and if you have not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and without wasting any time I will solve the rest of the question. solved before from question 8 I will solve let's see question 8 has came from the chapter chemical kinetics from the chapter chemical kinetics here it is told the rate of reaction becomes 4 times when the temperature changes from 293 Kelvin to 313 Kelvin calculate the energy of activation of reaction assuming that it does not change with temperature r equals to 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole inverse now the thing is whenever any question is given two things you need to find out the first thing is from which chapter this is the second thing is which law we will use or any one of that which law we have to use or which equation we will use to solve this question now in this question to uh, see which of the equation we will use we have to see that which are the data given the data given here the temperature change suppose the first temperature was 293 kelvin and the temperature increased from 293 to 313 kelvin and here another thing activation energy we need to calculate and uh, we know the temperature activation energy relation is the Arrhenius equation. So what uh, we will apply here the Arrhenius equation. Okay. Applying Arrhenius equation now what we can write. We can write that K1 equals to A e to the power minus Ea by Rt1. Ea by Rt1. K2 is equal to A e to the power minus Ea by Rt2. After solving this taking ln in both sides we can say that ln of k2 by k1 is equals to a minus ea by r multiplied by 1 by t2 minus 1 by t1 okay so this one is our equation now t2 and t1 we know 313 and 293 kelvin K2 and K1 it is mentioned that 4 times the rate of reaction becomes 4 times that means we can say that K2 ultimate rate of reaction will be 4 times of K1 so writing that we can write ln 4 K1 divided by K1 equals to minus Ea we have to calculate R is given 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin so in joule per mole per Kelvin unit now 1 by t2 minus 1 by t1 will come 313 minus 293 divided by 313 into 293 that one when that minus will be plus so 1 by t1 minus 1 by t2 so after doing ln4 k1 k1 cancelled out we have to calculate the k so, uh, ea so after calculating ea we will get that as 52869.96 joule per mole so as we had used 8.314 in joule mole per kelvin 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 got cancelled out and we will get it in joule per mole and in kilojoule we can write it like 52.87 kilojoule mole inverse so that one will be the activation energy using our linear equation so this is the solution of question number eight now i'm going for the question number nine here in question number nine this one is from organic chemistry organic chemistry here it is told write the balance equation for each of the following what we have taken we have taken ethyl amine ch3 ch2 nh2 is ethyl amine and we have taken nitrous acid hno2 now which type of reaction what will form here from no2 no2 means oh n double bonded this one is the 
formula of NO2. So from NO2, if that OH goes out, we will get NO positive ion. This one is the electrophile, this one is the nucleophilic center and after reaction, it will ultimately give us N2 positive means ethyl diagonium salt, ethyl diagonium salt. So how this is formed? First of all, we are having CH2, CH2. I'm again uh, repeating one thing that uh, we don't have mechanism in class 12 means in ISC level but I am showing uh, this because it will be easier for you to remember if you see the mechanism that's why I am showing you so here nitrogen having lone pair that will be given to the NO positive because this one is the electrophile and this one will be the nucleophilic center after the giving this we will have CH3, CH2, NH2 positive with this N double bond negative your positive charge so it will go then one hydrogen will be taken up by oh and we will get ch3 ch2 in oh and here hydrogen we will get and the next step oh will go out and ch3 ch2 in double bond in positive and to the lone pair of this a, it will form N2 positive. So ultimately diagonium salt CH2 CH2 N2 positive will form. Okay. Coming for the next question, aniline and next question is aniline and acetyl chloride. This one is also very easy. Acetyl chloride is CH3 COCl. Aniline is benzene group with this one amine. Again, amine is having lone pair. So this will be the nucleophilic site. This will be the nucleophilic site. This one is attached with electronegative oxygen as well as chlorine. So this one will be the electrophilic, if electrophilic electron deficient side. This one is electron efficient, electron rich. This one is electron deficient. So it will get attacked, chlorine will come out. So here the formation of this will happen. So this has formed. This is acetanilite acid. Any light okay now uh, section C starts with where 12 marks question is there given 12 marks question means all the three marks questions we have to add in add in uh, four three marks question okay here the question number one define molecularity of a reaction so molecularity of a reaction is that how many number of reactants is reacting with a with a means in the reaction and uh, give one div and molecularity for any single step reaction the molecularity a single step reaction molecularity is equal to order of the reaction uh, that single step reaction is called that elementary reaction for elementary reaction elementary reaction molecularity molecularity is equal to order of reaction for elementary reactions only and otherwise mo molecularity is the number of reactant molecules reacting is called molecularity give a difference between order and molecule it's very easy if you go for molecularity we have unimolecular bimolecular reaction suppose a plus b to product a plus b plus c to product so as we can say if they are elementary reaction or mm, we can say that uh, a b a, here molecularity is 2 here molecularity is 3 3 reactants are reacting so always molecularity molecularity is whole number so we are having electronic configuration 3d10 we have the same case for nickel 2 plus electronic configuration is 3d8 so 3d8 if we are writing this just normally in d orbital from number of electron possible in zinc uh, means in d orbital is 10 so in case of 3d10 all the orbital the 3d10 orbital is fulfilled that means a no unpaired electron 1 2 3 4 5 no unpaired electron but in case of nickel here unpaired electron is present two unpaired electron is present that's why this one will be paramagnetic in nature paramagnetic in nature and whenever there is unpaired electron dd transition is possible and because of that transition nickel 2 plus is green in color but in case of zinc 2 plus the transition is not possible so it will not be colored in nature next question we are having from coordination chemistry coordination chemistry and uh, IUPAC nomenclature for organic compound is important because whenever this will be given the names in terms of word that you have to write in formula 
So IPSC nomenclature is important as well as nomenclature in coordination chemistry is very very important. If you have not seen my coordination chemistry video, see that there I have explained the things and part two video also will come very soon. Okay, write the formula potassium trioxalate to aluminate here aluminate ATE that means the coordination sphere is negative. So the formula will be here for potassium K then writing aluminium C2O4 whole thrice. Oxalate that means 2 minus for each ligand. So here 3 ligand means uh, here aluminium is in plus 3 oxidation state. 3 oxalate means minus 6 equals to it will become minus 3. That means charge of coordination sphere is minus 3. To neutralize the charge of coordination sphere we need 3 K positive. So K3 that will be the formula of potassium trioxalate or aluminate tree. For the second case like the same way we can write the formula chromium retain tri ammonia ammonia starts with nitrogen nitrogen comes first uh, be, means N comes first before oxygen so tri amine retain and OH2 H2O water tri aqua retain after that we are having okay so number of chlorine atom here chlor chromium is in plus 3 oxidation state so plus 3 will be the coordination sphere oxidation number and to neutralize the plus 3 we need 3 chloride atom Cl3 so chloride will be number 3. For the next case for the complex ion cobalt ammonium hexa hexamine complex coordination sphere set the oxidation state here oxidation state suppose we uh, let us consider oxidation state is x so if the oxidation state is x so we can take as x plus neutral ligand 0 equal to 3 plus so the oxidation number of the cobalt will be plus 3 and what will be the coordination number coordination number means metal attached with how many decan if you have not seen my coordination chemistry video you can see this there the things are explained the part two video will come very soon so here the coordination number will be six okay coming for the next question okay so ferric hydroxide sol having more phosphate having more coagulating power according to shu rd principle more the charge of the anion po4 three minus higher the charge of the ion and then higher will be the coagulating power when the cation is fixed. That's why phosphate will have more coagulating power. Next, we are having lyophilic colloids. Lyophilic, always remember. File, lyophilic, hydrophilic, nucleophilic, file means loving. Lyophilic means solvent loving and lyophobic, phobic. Phobia, we are having any phobia that, that repels us to doing that thing, phobia. So phobic means hating. So something when uh, there, there will be a solvent loving thing that will be of course most level. This first phase is not solvent loving in case of lyophobic case. So collateral solution will be less level. Next question. The gelatin is added to ice cream. Gelatin is added to ice cream to prevent, to prevent crystallization. To prevent crystallization or to prevent the ice cream from crystallization. And uh, as this one is from surface chemistry uh, chapter, uh, we can say that ice cream is uh, ice cream is emulsion. Ice cream is emulsion, and we need to add some stabilizer to stabilize the particular emulsion. And that emulsifier, or emulsifying agent, or the stabilizer, stabilizer to add the to stabilize the emulsion. The stabilizer is gelatin. So gelatin basically is added to stabilize the immersion. Okay. This one was your last question. So here with this, I am ending my question solve of specimen copy. This one was part two video. If you have not seen the part one video, see that. And if this video is helpful to you, please give a like and share with your friends. And uh, do comment if you have any doubt or any question. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe it. And thank you for watching.